All right, I'm gonna try something different. I've been grooming these girls since they were very, very young. She has actually had a lot of kidney issues, kidney stones, and her body has kind of changed. So her hair cutting has kind of changed. You can kind of see, we haven't done anything yet, but because of the, the weight loss here, and she got real bony when she got, had the major surgeries and stuff. You can, I can feel her spinal cord here, but the hair kind of changed as well. It doesn't lay soft and flat or doesn't lay right because her body has so many dips now. So I'm actually gonna probably not do what I normally do. So we're gonna make her nice and really cute today. I'm gonna start off with a 40 on her feet. She does have rear dew claws. So 40 blade on the pads only is what I love because I can go, go pretty quickly. And uh, David's working on Abby behind me. He's also doing a 40 on the pads. This baby girl has gone through a lot of surgeries, a lot of food changes, a lot of issues. Yeah, I know. No, I didn't forget. It's in my head. Um, a lot of serious issues and a couple times I, I thought we were going to lose her. I mean, she came in root. Sorry, are you okay? That's scary. Yeah, I'm sorry. She came in with severe weight loss and I thought, oh gosh. All right, so usually we do like a seven all over because I don't see them for three or four months and they've been coming to me for many years, like I said. But this time I'm just gonna change it up because you don't need to shave every dog. They don't come in matted anymore and her hair doesn't grow like it used to. She's got a big mole right here. Uh, her hair doesn't grow like it used to, but they also don't brush, okay? So you have to shave and do the haircut according to that. If they're not gonna brush, it's not like you wanna do a long flowing haircut now do you no because you're not going to brush it i know we got a matted tail here go sideways with your blade cut through those mats that way I can save some of it and then underneath I'm actually going to just take it down. Actually you know what it's really matted in there. Seven down all over. Constantly change your blade if you need to. If you only have one or two blades, you're gonna wanna get more. It's really important to keep your blades cool. And personally, I don't like to use a coolant. I'd rather change my blades. Coolant will clog up your blades a little bit while you're grooming. And you can't even see me, that's the problem. Come here. I'm gonna go this way then. No, sweetie. She is not liking it. I'm gonna do inverted V here, get all that gunk out of the face area. She wants to lay down, just little quicker, let her lay down. Good 
big knots in there and stuff from the boogers, the eye boogers. No, no, no. Get all those boogers out of there. Yeah, you like that? Yeah, is it your chin? Hey, it's your chin? <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, gosh. Hey, Mama. 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 There's a lot of dirt here. We want to make sure you clean that out real good and pull the ear hair out of the way. Look how dirty these are. Short tummy and sanitary. She's chewing that area right there, which is why it's maroon. Could be arthritis, could be just allergies. work this mat right here off their tail. My hand's really hurting today. Here's your dematter split. This is a mat splitter. I'm going to split that up a little bit. I've already run my tin through there sideways so it's not too too bad but use a table if you need to as your backing or use your hand. Kind of pull all that mats out of there. See? This is a, avoiding shaving the whole tail. Kind of hold it there right after the skin so it doesn't pull so much actually on the skin just like you would yourself if you had long hair all the way down the base of that tail it's matted just hold it at the right after i'm sorry i know it's not i know it's painful i'm using the table because it's pretty thick the mats are pretty thick I'm going to trim now and then fix it more later. All right, we're going to actually do a lot of work with her coat in the bath. We're going to do brush out thoroughly with the brush and water and conditioner. So that's going to be a lot of the coat fixing. I'm going to try to leave her long, just shaped up today. All right, here we go. All right, we're leaving her long and flowing today with this hair comb and tidy all this stuff up. I'm going to do some leave-in conditioner. I'm gonna brush like how I tell you guys to brush. Brush so that you ah, she, she's definitely more disabled, you know. She has some issues, so be careful. out there is still left.
You can put her up there. Thank you. She's not uh, having fun with the blow dryer, so we're not going to continue blow drying her. I can hear her fighting it, and that's just uh, causes uh, too much stress. Huh? Oh, that's good. That's good. But for the face, I can I can hear her that she's not liking the face, and she obviously doesn't like anything. But 